There is a call for Jamaicans to consume more ground provisions and other natural foods to reduce the risk of certain underlying medical conditions. Shamela Pullen tells us more in the Health Report. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, a number of Jamaicans have died from the illness. Data from the Ministry of Health show that most of these individuals would have had an underlying medical condition, such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases, including hypertension. Nutritionist Dr. Joy Callender says, while this is alarming, it is not surprising. Dr. Callender points to a study looking at how Jamaica's diet has changed over the years to a more Western diet. What did that data demonstrate? That as the traditional diet changed to the more Western diet, higher in sodium, higher in the processed foods, not only did weight increase, the obesity prevalence increased from Africa, to the Caribbean, to North America, but so did hypertension. So did the prevalence of hypertension. That's powerful. Dr. Kalina calls on persons to go back to their traditional diet by eating more ground provisions and cutting out processed or packaged foods. If we begin to swap out some of the things which are not so good for us, so instead of one less fast food and we have a meal with some kalalu and pak choy, for the snack, let's have some unsalted nuts instead of having some of the chips and all kinds of other things. So have more fruit. Use your fruit as snack. Fruit is not meant to be a meal. I know it's mango season and it's tempting, but it shouldn't really be mango for dinner. Let's have the fruit in between our meals. For beverage, increase your intake of water. Dr. Callender says you can have some coconut water as well. If you smoke, you need to stop and get more active. We have to, do, we have to make a conscious effort to get in that half an hour's um, worth of exercise every single day, which is the recommendation for preventing diseases such as high blood pressure, and um, type 2 diabetes and, and so on. And let me just hasten to add that, you know, there are studies that show that even when you put in an hour's worth of the gym or physical activity, if the rest of your day is sedentary, you are still at risk. With your health report, I'm Shimela Pullen wishing you good health.